It is an illness that is difficult to detect, prevent, and can be fatal. Brain aneurysms are a type of stroke that affect 30,000 Americans every year. South Florida, though, has one of the few medical centers taking the lead. Dr. Brian Snelling is the director of Cerebral Vascular Neurosurgery and the Stroke Center at Boca Raton Regional. That was a little bit of a tongue twister for me. Thank you so much for coming in. Uh, aneurysms, briefly describe what that is. What is a brain aneurysm? Perfect. Thank you for having me. A brain aneurysm, simply put, is a weakening of the artery of a blood vessel that travels in the brain. Um, they can come about for many reasons, but this weakening sometimes grows over time, and eventually they can rupture. And when a brain aneurysm ruptures, it can cause a devastating, life-threatening type of stroke with bleeding in and around the brain. Are there usually any telltale signs beforehand? That's a great question, and that's yeah. really the problem with brain aneurysms. Around 1 in 50 people has a brain aneurysm, and for the most part, they have no symptoms until they rupture. And when they do rupture, people often have a sudden onset, serious headache uh, described as the worst headache of their life. Oh, wow. But for most people, they don't know until it ruptures. Is there a group of people or someone in particular who may be more at risk? Great question. The group of people most at risk are those individuals who have family members who have had a brain aneurysm or have had a brain aneurysm rupture. Um, there's other people with medical conditions like polycystic kidney disease or certain connective tissue disorders that also may, may be at a higher risk. Is it fair to say then you mentioned, is it genetic? It is genetic okay. and there is no one genetic test. There's no blood test that you can get to tell you whether you have an aneurysm and sort of the, the best genetic test we yeah. have now is family history. So in terms of you look at the family history, are there any other uh, factors or any other things that you can do ahead of time perhaps to ward one off an aneurysm? There's certain lifestyle modifications you can make that can decrease your chance of having an aneurysm. If you have high blood pressure, if you have high cholesterol, certainly exercise, a proper diet and medications if prescribed by your doctor um, can help treat that. If you smoke, you should stop. Okay. And obviously alcohol use only in moderation. We see some of the risk factors there on the screen. You went through them all. Older age, cigarette smoking, high blood pressure, drug abuse, heavy alcohol consumption. We're so lucky to have a state-of-the-art brain aneurysm clinic on the campus of Boca Return Regional. What do you all do in terms of testing to detect and prevent? So we have a screening clinic. If someone comes in and they meet that criteria to have a screening uh, test done, then they would have what's called an MR angiogram. That's a special type of MRI that looks at the arteries of the brain. Um, there's no radiation, there's no dye used, and that can tell us whether there's an aneurysm there. Usually at that point, they'll have what's called an angiogram where a small catheter is placed in the wrist, mm -hmm. taken up, and some dyes injected as an outpatient procedure. And that can give us sort of the gold standard look at what the, what the arteries of the brain look like, where that aneurysm is, and whether it needs to be treated. In terms of treatment, I'm sure it depends on the patient, but is it relatively simple or complex? Treatment of brain aneurysms is quite complex, yeah. and, you re and you really got to correct there. Every aneurysm is unique, every patient's unique, and that's why you know one of the things we always say is, is patients really need to be both evaluated and treated at a center that can offer all the treatment options. Sure, sure. Well, we do want to let our uh, viewers know we have a phone number and the website. It's also on the website if you'd like more information. I think we're going to get it right there, yeah, at the bottom of your screen. Also, be sure to visit WPTV.com. Dr. Schnelling, thank you so much for your time. Thank we you for having me. It.